Hello, and welcome to the church of 2.4 gigahertz, where if you don't want a wireless controller, you're obviously out of date. I'm just kidding. But today we're going to be comparing wireless controllers versus wired controllers. Which one's better? Which one's cheaper? Let's find out. Okay, so I'm just going to do the comparison between 6 versus 6. Is it cheaper to buy two wireless controller sets with two more cars and another wireless set duo to get six cars? Or is it cheaper just to get triple car sets that have wired controllers along with four wire controller extensions and the wireless uh, the wired controller extension box that way you can get everywhere on the table so we're trying to see here cheapest way to to fill up the table with six players now the thing is we're gonna go by msrp here we're also gonna buy canadian and i'm rounding here so it's not gonna be down to the last cent all right so you know i'm not breaking any rules the wired set comes in with all those little doohickeys including these expensive wired extensions at about 1400 getting wireless is about 1700 and even if you throw in maybe the wire controller box isn't ex uh, extension box isn't long enough for you throw in another one of these controller extensions for 30 canadian wires is still much cheaper now i know 300 dollars might not seem like a big difference to some of you but keep in mind that's like getting yourself some borders and turns. It could really help out your set. $300, you know, it's a little chunk of change. So if you're looking for the cheapest way, it's wired. Now, now obviously price isn't everybody's factor here. So which one should you get? And here's my suggestion. So majority of people are, yes, going to be wireless. Don't cheap out on your set. The reason I'm bringing up filling up the table though and doing those costs instead is because if you're running a club in my case i was running a slot car track at the public in a public space i it, it gets really old making sure the wireless controllers are charged you know the thing is you, you don't really want to be putting them on the charger all the time when you're done with them because it's you're just going to kill the battery granted these batteries aren't very expensive to replace but on the other hand, it's not like Carrera has a shipment of them ready and able every single time you want them. You know what I mean? Like you're not, you're not be able to get the batteries. And it's it's a lot easier just not to think about it. You know, when I do have two, I had two wired controllers. And you know what? Let me show you something real quick. I didn't have this listed because if I was staying in business with my public slot car track, I was going to switch them all over to wired. It can get so annoying charging up the wireless, fiddling with the batteries. It's just an extra factor you have to take into consideration here. But again, with home use, that's not a problem. Even if you're going to be racing constantly at home. Because it's not like you have the pressure, you know? You don't have, you, you don't have pressure. You can just toss them on the charger the night before. Not a problemo. But having to do that every single night can be a bit of an issue. So yeah, that's Sunday Slot Cars. Make sure to like us on Facebook. You can check us. You can get some really good deals. Our Father's Day sale is going on right now. And yeah, we have no sets. Uh, I'll be working on getting those ASAP once the border situation uh, eases up a bit. And I will talk to you later. Make sure to sub also sub to us on YouTube. Okay, bye.